And we are back with BRX Pro Tips. Stone Peyton Lee Cantor here with you. Lee, let's talk about as a discipline and as a strategy or even a service for our clients, this whole idea of using our platform to capture and share testimonials. Yeah, there is, uh, since we're recording a lot of audio, we don't have to end the recording at the end of the show. And a lot of times some of this magic happens after the show's over and it creates a nice surprise and delight opportunity uh, that you can deliver back to your client. Uh, Sometime during the course of the show or after the show, um, your client's client says something nice about your client and they say, what a great job. And they say something kind of unexpected in terms of um, how wonderful they are. If you can kind of make a note of that and then cut out that clip and then deliver that clip back to your client. And that could be delivered to them as a transcript. It could be just the audio file. You can make the audio into a video. There's lots of ways to repurpose the content, as we all know. But if you give that back to your client, that is a great surprise and delight kind of opportunity because now this your client has this asset that they didn't expect to have that they can use in a lot of ways. They can use it on their website. They can use it in a newsletter. They can use it in a variety of ways that gives them credibility and the social proof that they're good at what they do. And it can open the door for you to go to your client and say, you know what, you can upsell them a service where, hey, you know how we were able to pull that that uh, testimonial kind of randomly? Um, I can do that for all of your clients. I can go back and interview all your clients and capture lots and lots of testimonials. So having a testimonial capture service is a great upsell opportunity as well. And it all can kind of happen organically by you capturing a random testimonial on behalf of your client. 